Barbara Kemigisa speaks candidly about HIV and AIDS. She's also not afraid to mention that she is HIV positive. Kemigisa, who is also an employee of Makerere University Business School in Nakawa, has been doing awareness and advocacy work for seven years. She has adopted novelty to carry out her work. For instance, these are dustbins which are made out of ARV tins. They are inscribed with messages which raise awareness of HIV and AIDS. Kamigisa explains why she took on this idea. Our plan is not to just collect them. We are to buy them from young people and adolescents living with HIV who are swallowing ARVs and have reached undetectable viral loads as a way to appreciate them for their effort in swallowing ARVs. Then uh, also we are motivating them that please continue swallowing because when young people reach undetectable viral loads, they think I now can relax. She crystallized after a picture of one of her dustbins that moves was posted on Twitter. The bins attract bypassers and also carry a message with a mobile number. We believe it's an opportunity for someone to contact us. Maybe they want to give us the bottles. Uh, maybe someone wants to talk to us for counseling. Or maybe someone is, like, they create a lot of curiosity. Someone wants to find out what's this. We are more than ready to use any arena to, to talk about HIV. And the messages too. These are tools for passing the information out there. We spoke to those who have seen the messages on these dustbins and what was their impression. It's breaking the stigma, one. Secondly, every time you're throwing something, uh, trash inside the dustbin, you're cautioned that HIV still exists. She's positive, but she's showing you, no, marriage should not break up because I'm positive and this, this one is negative. She says she is open about her HIV status because she wants to live a free life. We are not scared because these are the reasons um, the person I am, I'm able to have my negative husband and I'm able to have a negative child. So I have no reason whatsoever to be ashamed of them. She also works from home here. She has displays outside her workshop. The displays also attract people, and here she gets a chance to interact with them. She currently works with a team of nine people to collect the empty drug bottles. We collect them from health centers, especially those that are giving treatment and care for HIV positive people. But uh, our plan is not to just collect them, we are to buy them from young people and adolescents living with HIV who are swallowing ARVs and have reached undetectable viral loads as a way to appreciate them for their effort in swallowing ARVs. Kemigisa says this initiative, once improved, will help improve communication between people living with HIV and AIDS. She intends to spread a message of adherence to treatment which improves the health of HIV-positive persons. Walter Messenger, NTV.